What's the lowest RTO and RPO that you've ever seen for Whoop's queries and how was it satisfied? Oh, that's a great question. So I was teaching a training class once in Las Vegas and I uh, was at an annual conference that would happen every year in, in Vegas. And we were talking about RPO and RTO and I explained it to the audience and a company that, or a group of folks that worked for a company that did financial trading came up to me afterwards and they said, we get it now, we get how zero, zero RPO and RTO is so hard, but we've been required by our company to build it. So what should we do? And so they hired me and we ended up doing a sketch out architecture. And then after that sketch out architecture, they went and built a system that every time that they were gonna query the database, every time they were gonna do an insert, update, or delete, they wrote that insert, update, or delete to another server first, it was a NoSQL server. They wrote the command they were gonna run then they ran the command in SQL Server, then they recorded the uh, uh, completion of it over in this NoSQL box so that they could basically go back and rewind and see every query that had been run so that they could effectively reverse it. If they were going to do an update, say they were going to change a customer's name from Alex to Bob, then they recorded the before and after values in their NoSQL system as well. It was a stratospheric amount of work. It was extremely expensive to execute. Fortunately, it didn't have too high of a write volume, but that's how they accomplished it. And now you start to see how hard that is.